Hi guys, I'm Shmi and today is day four of Fuel Faction Enna with Trading 212 and we're going to be setting off departing Dubrovnik. We're going to be heading back up through Croatia, a meandering route into Bosnia where we're going to go exploring a little bit and hopefully not getting too lost. Then we're going to be going to split to catch a ferry over to Italy for the second sort of half of this adventure. So all the cars are totally, totally filthy now after, well, we've had three or two full days in the rain so far and it's actually raining outside right now which is why we're loading up the cars in here i think everyone's more or less done and ready to go um lots of trading happened last night um, we're all actually interested in what the apple stock is going to do tonight because there is a new iphone being released and that tends to have an impact on that kind of thing so lots of speculating i suppose and finding out and working it out because this is the trading rally so we're going to get underway get things started luggage is all in the boots so it's time to roll and head back up towards Neum, where we'll cross into Bosnia. First quick checkpoint is in the old town city of Dubrovnik. We haven't actually been in to take a look, uh, but we're in here right now, coming past, I guess, the old castle, the Starry Grad, the old town, literally. Um, we're just basically going on a quick exploration um, around um, to see what's what before we head on. Um, I'm, by the way, wearing my rather ludicrously bright neon orange Fuel Faction Enna t-shirt today. Um, we've got them in so many different colors. They're all in the Shmi shop as well, if you're interested. But we're just going to take a look around and see what's what. so far and now we're arriving at the border. It's a bit hazy hours over the sea and it's still a little bit drizzly. It'd be quite nice to clean the cars at some point but just for reference I'm entering the port of minus one thousand five hundred pounds. Just see how we do when we click the Patrick's trading account not going so well nor is mine at the moment but fingers crossed it will recover a little bit later on. So let's head over and into Bosnia.
They have no idea what is going on with the sort of spaceships that are driving through their country. We're on these ridiculous roads, there are no cars around, we're in the middle of nowhere. If you just saw the scenery, I don't think you'd have a clue what country we're in. I mean, let's face it, we're driving a bunch of supercars through Bosnia on random roads that you just have these bumps and holes everywhere. Take it easy. Um, this is surreal. It's like, I don't know, it's some kind of weird dream. <laughs> I always want to do these kind of ridiculous experiences. I don't like scrape there, unfortunately. Um, well, my word, this is something else. This is, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't have any words for it. Back in Croatia then, the Bosnia adventure is over for now and I think everybody looking at us is literally just like, what on earth is this? Honestly, everybody is literally like, what is this? Hey, Joey's at the wheel of the M2. Enjoying it? Sorry? All good? Yeah, very good. Nice road. Hell yeah, this is completely just the craziest experience ever. So we'll just wait for the GT4 to roll through and then uh, we're going to go and grab ourselves some lunch somewhere on the way in Croatia. wet drive later and we've arrived in Split. We're at the port, the sun has slightly come out although it's still very wet and we're going to be getting on that rather smiley Blue Line ferry over there. That's going to take us over to Italy. So all the cars are kind of here. We're going to work out how this works. We're going to be taking four of them on. The Range Rover is going to leave us. I'm just trying to get a bearing for where we are and what the road says. Yeah this lane says ferry. But we're going to be heading out over there and getting on board and seeing what's what really. Um, this is the end of our Balkan part of this adventure. I'm slightly sad about that actually because it's been truly awesome so far. Um, well, let's go see if we can buy some snacks before we head on to the ferry. Um, and I guess roll with it. Time to split. No, that's a really rubbish joke that these guys make me say. Uh, we're unloading, we're on the ferry. Uh, it's gonna be an overnight sailing. Um, fun fact, or random thing by the way, because cars are on a ferry, it means obviously they're moving around as you sail. Um, to stop that, there are different systems by which to lock them. Noise of the uh, truck behind being chained down. But there are ways by which to lock them without the motion detector on, which is that one. So when they're on an incline, the alarms don't go off, which means your battery lasts better. Um, your battery actually lasts rather and it's not going to be another car making noise so on the BMW that's double press of the lock button GT4 it's double press of the lock button and on the FF there's a thing like in the roof on the uh, rear view mirror to do the same so the cars all parked up here in a nice line ready for part two of this adventure the Italy and France leg because tomorrow when we wake up we're going to be driving all the way through Tuscany up towards Pisa which will be quite nice um, I've got lots of plans for awesome roads in this area obviously I know a little bit better I've spent a lot of time driving around there so I'm looking forward to part two of this we've got a couple more days before we get to Marseille in France today's been fun uh, from a trading point of view I've done quite well as it happens uh, some of the others got there 
minutes and then we're gone. We'll catch up with how everything's going, especially with the big move with Apple tonight, tomorrow. So that's it for day four of Fuel Fraction Enna for Trading212. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers.